History unfolds in patterns that repeat every 80 years or so about the duration of a human lifespan. Each history block, each saculum, has generations within it. The book calls them turnings. These 80-year history blocks begin with a high period of prosperous times and end with a crisis period of chaotic, dire, violent, and deadly times with total war. In between the high and crisis generations, we have an awakening generation and an unraveling generation. So then, each history block, each saculum, consists of 20 years or so of a high, 20 years or so of an awakening, 20 years or so of an unraveling, and 20 years or so of a crisis. And you, and me, and everyone we know, right now, we are living in a crisis generation with maybe 10 more years to go. And in these upcoming 10 years or so, a hard rain's gonna fall. That means something's gonna happen. Here is our history block, our saculum, that we're living through the crisis of. Our history block began with the post-World War II high. This was when the American middle class was born. The most even distribution of wealth in our seculum was during this high period for all races. Ordinary Americans could afford to go to college, buy houses, cars, dishwashers, and washing machines. Elvis, rock and roll, the Corvette. Our high ended with the assassination of John F. Kennedy on November 22nd, 1963. During the awakening, we got civil rights, gay rights, women's rights, the birth of personal computers. Our awakening ended in 1984 with the re-election of Ronald Reagan. Thus began our unraveling generation, our third turning. Hardcore hip-hop, fall of the Berlin Wall, Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins, Rage Against the Machine, the First Iraq War, Rodney King, LA Riots, the Internet, the Columbine School Shootings, 9-11, Afghanistan, and the Second Iraq War. Our crisis era, the crisis generation or fourth turning that we're in now, began with the financial crisis of 2008. And this book, The Fourth Turning is Here, this book that this entire video and the subsequent video is about, makes the case that our crisis, which the book calls the millennial crisis, will climax with civil war, American civil war, World War III, or a combination of both. Let me say that again. This book makes the case that our current crisis will climax with either an American Civil War, World War III, or a combination of both. This episode is about a scary book that somehow gives me peace of mind. And thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode and helping me understand how to put my mind at ease. I make a lot of videos about how things operate. Therapy has helped me discover insights and get a better idea of how my mind operates. Therapy is an excellent entry point into understanding our minds, and BetterHelp is an excellent entry point into therapy. They have an online questionnaire that you fill out, very simple, basic questions, and answering the questionnaire connects you to the most appropriate therapist for your needs. If you don't like your therapist, you can switch to a different therapist and BetterHelp will meet you at your comfort level, be it text, audio only, or audio video. I find life difficult. I find the news scary. 
history scary. BetterHelp is a fine tool to help me function in the face of struggle and fear. So if you're curious about therapy or in need of a therapist, the link is right here and it's the same link that's in the description. Thanks, BetterHelp. And the reason I take this book seriously, the reason I'm taking over a month to make these videos, is because years ago, I read this book, co-written by the same author. And this book, published 11 years before the catalyst of our current crisis, not only explained this phenomenon of repeating history blocks, this book, in 1997, predicted our current crisis, which began in 2000. Eight. And this book said, sometime around the year 2005, perhaps a few years before or after, America will enter the fourth turning. It predicted the 9-11 attacks. It predicted the debt ceiling battles in Congress and the government shutdowns. It predicted the pandemic. It predicted a Russian conflict. In 1997, the book talked about now right now. Economic distress, social distress with violence fueled by race and class, cultural distress with the media plunging into dizzying decay and censorship, technological distress with a tech oligarchy, ecological distress, political distress, military distress. We had none of these things in 1997. 1997 was the beginning of the internet boom. 1997 was as cool as a cucumber in a bowl of hot sauce. And these distresses and these predictions that this book predicted in 1997 have subsequently come true. And these distresses and conditions, history forecasts, lead to a climax. The big one. And this new book makes the case that our current crisis will end in a manner similar to the manner in which our previous crisis eras have ended, going back and back and back into our revolutionary roots, back into the history of England, the kingdom that originally colonized America. This history repeating pattern, the book tells us, holds up going back over 500 years. 500 years of 80-year history blocks repeating themselves. Yes, things are mucked up. It's gonna get worse, but then it's gonna get better. America's previous crises gave her independence, freed her slaves, freed Europe, and created an economy that has vastly improved our systems that provide life. A rebirth is ahead, but first, we have a hell of a hump to get over.